how to use the apply image feature in Photoshop to create all kinds of amazing colorful designs very quickly from channels and from layers. Literally millions of designs can be created in a few minutes. There is initial setup and that's to create a layer. That's all you need to do. So go to the layers, go and see here, the layers panel, go down the bottom, little plus there, and that adds a new layer. And you can just quickly add a gradient or anything, brush strokes. I'm gonna go with a gradient. Apply it multiple times and create something like that. And that's there, layer 15. I can create another layer. So again, click plus there, create another. And you can create five or six, 10, 20, and you can create a document filled with lots and lots of layers. Also, once you've created your layer, you can always apply effects. Just go to filter, and down to distort, use pinch, maybe wave, so select that, and you can see there, just go number of generators, one, probably the best, and you can vary that, and you can see, you can also randomize it. So you can click here, amplitude, scale, wavelength, and I'm using sign and repeat edge pixels. Click OK, and you can see the design there. Again, you've got your layer there. But you can use these layers. Now you can combine them usually by just going over here, blend mode, run through, and you can see combine them. But it's a fairly limited, very slow process going from one layer to the next. But you can use apply image to do it infinitely quicker. And also, you get access to this, window and channels. So the channels for each of the layers can be used as well. And that's all via the apply image. And you could also, of course, create a separate document as well. It uses channels, it uses layers. And I'm gonna create again a completely fresh layer and fill it with black. Edit and fill with black, click OK. Image menu and apply image. There it is, that's where you need, go with that. And you can see straight away, you've got this source document. This is the current document, source. Also, you've got access to all of the layers. You can also run through these layers and just see which one you like. So you can just go up and down. You can see I've got a variety of different designs, some with filters applied, some with just purely a gradient. Again, there's a filter one, there's another filter one, and you can create 20, 50 layers very quickly, lots of variations. And you can also save this layer and use it to create another layer. So I'm just gonna go with layer six, just something. And you can go with red, green, and let's see layer six, there's layer six. So that's what it's using, layer six, there. And you can go there, blue, and transparency gives you a range or go with RGB and you can see the result there so you can really run through what would be brilliant would be if Photoshop had a randomized feature a randomized feature for this panel would be amazing you could create 20 or 30 layers just click randomize and you'd be able to run through them very quickly and literally create millions of designs also it'd be nice if there was an output feature where many filters do have that now, where you can put output to a layer or document, that would be useful as well. And you've also got blending modes, so you can run through these. So you can say, oh, lighter color, darker color, sometimes not so good, but difference is generally, I think, the most useful one, combine them. You've also got preserved transparency, in some cases not gonna be any use, but you've also got mask, so you can click here. There does seem to be an issue with this, and I'm not certain, because I have noticed that sometimes it seems to remain. Even when you deselect it, you end up with some very odd results. I've yet to work out a pattern to that. Sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't. So be aware that it doesn't seem to be as consistent, but you can run through it. There's layer six, you can see there, layer six, and it uses that. And you can also change, I'm gonna go with blue, and that will change there, red or gray. So you can see literally millions of combinations 
just by using a single document, a single layer, or multiple layers, can be used to create all kinds of designs. Let's just click OK at this point. You can see the effect there. And go back up top, this is I'm using layer 17. Modify that. What I can now do is I can duplicate this, maybe just use this. So go over here, layer, and duplicate layer. Click OK. With that duplicate, I can then go back again, image, apply image. And this time layer six, obviously it's not gonna be any use, so layer seven, I can run through that. Layer seven, you can just run down there, let's have a look, here's layer seven. That one uses a distort that was a wave, and you can see the result there. RGB, you can use red, you can use green, use blue. And then maybe, so I, you know what, I don't want that one, I could go with lighter color. You can just change them, you don't have to keep it as different. Just happens to be, I think, the nicest one. Then mask, use that, lay 11. You've got a nice effect with lots of strands and oil paint effects. And then channels, green, blue, you might say, you know what, I don't want that one. Maybe go with this one. Or this one. Click OK. Once you've got this, you can also apply other filters, of course. You don't have to just continue with that. You can go to Filter and Stylize and Oil Paint. Oil Paint's quite a good one. Smears it. Now, you might not want to keep it at 10. I've got it at 10 there, but you can reduce it down. Maybe go for 3.4, 3, 4. I'm not going with lighting because that adds lots of strands and I'm not saying I really like that. Click OK, but just smears it slightly. You could, of course, go over here and use some brushes to smear it as well. Maybe use smear, yeah, smudge tool. Smudge tool is a good one to use, but I'm not going to do that. You've got this design. It's a layer, exactly the same as before, and you could modify it again. Image. Apply image, go for a different layer, layer five, or layer four, three, just run through them, something like that. Again, difference you can see as you go through there. That's why a randomized feature would be amazing in this. You don't have to keep the opacity at 100%, you maybe reduce it down, and click OK. Now, sometimes the result might not be good. You can always undo. You don't have to keep it. Just go to edit and undo. You can also fade. Unfortunately, there is no repeat feature. I would love to see a repeat apply image. That would be very useful. But fade, apply image, and you can go through there and decide, you know what, I want soft light. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to run through and change as you run through it. So you have to wait for it to Something like that. Just select something, click OK. Again, filters, oil paint. If you want to brighten it up, oil paint does make it slightly duller and the effect, the apply image, also makes it slightly dark. So image, adjustments, maybe go for invert, vibrance, or maybe levels. So let's just go for levels, just brighten it up, just use the input levels. And you can tweak it. Just going to... Just slightly there, just make it, I think it looks nicer. Click OK. And you've got that design. Exactly the same as before. You can go to Layer and you can duplicate. Click OK. Now this one, and I'm going to select the previous layer, the, obviously the duplicate of this. But you can apply other effects. Go to Filter, go to Distort and Wave. And you can see the effect there. Now that little preview is not this. That's not what's been changed. This layer has been changed. So this is the thing with this. You can see the preview and you can click here and you can create these, all these weird abstract designs there. And again, all these settings, wavelength, number generate. I prefer setting it to one. Click OK. And you can see it doesn't change the top layer. You can go back to that top layer, go to image and apply image. This time, I'm just going to go up here, layer 17 copy. And you can see you can use that, and that's got that distortion in. Again, green, 
RGB. Now, sometimes the result might not be hardly any changes at all. Blue. Again, you can use mask, maybe go for copy there. And you can see then you get that lovely, the distortion that was in that wave effect, just here in there. Again, change channels, green. Just try them out. One may be better than the other because depending on how much red or green or blue is in there, click OK. And you can see now you've modified it again and go to filter, go down to stylize and oil paint if you want to slightly smear it again like that. Image adjustments and levels. And there's the effect there. And literally millions and millions of combinations can be created all from these layers and there's loads of layers and you can just build up a document with these. What you can also do, so I'm just gonna save it now, so file and save. So it's all saved with those layers. Every one of those layers, all these different effects. Well, you can always just go to image and duplicate. Click okay. And what happens, it obviously creates all those. So layer, flatten image. I could have just created a document the same size. That would be just as easy. And edit and fill. I'm just gonna fill it with black again. So I've got that, let's just zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit clearer. And you've got this one, this Alien World Apply, that's the original name. In here, you can now go to image, apply image. And this time, you got that one. Just select that. So you can bring it in from the other document. So you could like have three or four documents with lots and lots of different types of gradient or brush strokes or pattern designs. And it could be used for pattern designs as well. I'm using it for gradients, but it could be used for patterns. So you could create design hundreds of different patterns, which you can then have slight variations between them and blend them, combine them in many unique ways. Again, run through. You can see there layer 17, that was the one that with the distorted wave design. Now in the layers over here, you've got only one layer. But you can then build up, create some over here of some variations of that. You've got layer 17, 16, just run through them. Now sadly, for some weird reason, it doesn't allow you to scan through that. It'd be nice if that did. It doesn't seem to do that. However, there's Difference, again, subtract, you can run through there. Now, add and subtract is very useful as well. That brings in scale, you can change offsets, color, make brighter. I think it actually is really great for combining gradients. Again, difference. But you could go for the red, and you could also use masks. Again, use that one, make certain the source is that one, that's the original document with all the layers. And then you've got all the layers to access again. And you can see now you've got green there, blue. Now you might not want to use a mask. Don't have to. Don't have to use red. You could use green or maybe layer eight or RGB to get a nice colorful. To and you can see the result again. Image, apply image, because of course it's exactly the same here. You can go to layer seven and you can see the result there. Difference, click OK. Image, apply image, and you can see, click there. Image, apply image, and you can create literally billions of different designs. And this again, layer and duplicate, and then start working with maybe this document to create even more combinations of grains. You don't have to, of course, just leave it like that. You can always go over here, apply a gradient, and you've got it difference, so you can see you create another design, Filter, stylize, and oil paint. So you can smear it, blur it again, so you've got a nice smeary effect. Filter, down to distort and wave. Again, you've got this design, you can randomize it. Change the amplitude, change the wavelength. Click OK. And you've got that design. Again, go to image, apply image, and you can see the result. You can literally find them millions of times just by using all these layers and you've got access to all these different designs. Some look great, some maybe not. That's a distortion using the wave. Well, that's one of the oil paint ones. 
And of course you could always rename the layers. That would be helpful as well. I don't always rename my layers. So always says layer 11, layer 12, which is not always helpful. Layer 13 and click OK. Again, continue to combine, modify, apply effects, filters, stylize, oil paint, click OK. And again, image adjustments and levels if you want to brighten it up a bit. Just think that looks a bit slightly done. Let's push that a bit, click OK. I think that looks great. Very abstract gradient. But as mentioned, it doesn't have to be just this. It can be images, all these layers. In here, you could say, these could all just be images. Maybe you've got like an image of a face or something, like multiple different shots of a person. You could combine those using apply image. And they're just slight variations. Maybe apply a subtle effect to each of them, a blurring effect to each of the layers, maybe greater strength in different places. Then just use the apply image to combine them or patterns, or brush strokes, and many other things as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know. Any comments, always great to hear from you. Thank you much.